case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1864 Vermont Supreme Court case of Booth v. Fitzpatrick, the issue at hand was whether a promise made based on a past consideration or something that had already happened could still be legally binding if the person making the promise directly benefited from the past event. The dispute arose when the plaintiff sent a bill to the defendant for keeping a bull that belonged to the defendant. The defendant argued that they should not have to pay the bill because the promise to pay was made upon a past consideration and therefore was not legally binding. However, the court ruled that although part of the keeping occurred before the promise was made, the defendant directly benefited from the plaintiff's actions and had subsequently promised to take the bull away and pay for the costs of keeping it until that time. The court found that the subsequent act of keeping the bull was made upon the faith of the defendant's promise to pay, making the agreement legally binding. As a result, the plaintiff was entitled to recover the costs of keeping the bull after the defendant's promise to pay. Ultimately, the Vermont Supreme Court affirmed that a promise made upon a past consideration can be legally binding if the consideration directly benefited the person making the promise. In this case, the defendant waived their statutory objection and expressly promised payment allowing the plaintiff to recover their entire account for keeping the bull. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 